today got a Vauxhall Corsa. This is the 1.4. It's a 2014 plate. We've got this noise. Is the engine's misfiring. If you hear it, just like it kicks every now and again and it gives you a little shudder as you're driving down the road. To the point where it was getting quite bad, it was jerking around. Now, close investigation. We'll give that lever a tug and start it up. Let's have a listen. I pop the bonnet up and every time it kicks, every time you get like a little, the engine just misses a beat, you get this noise. So it goes click, 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 and it's the arcing, it's the spark is jumping between the coil pack leg and hitting the outside of the cylinder or the spark plug um, recess. So the spark, instead of going through the plug, it's jumping across the side, which is gotta be, there's gotta be a poor connection there. Now I know from experience on these that they suffer with water ingress into the cylinder chamber. The water can come in from the front, gets underneath the cover, goes down inside the cylinders uh, where the spark plugs are, and they just the water comes down, it gets hot, creates a steamy mess inside there, which gets in, it corrodes the tops of the spark plugs, and it also corrodes all of the coil or all of the coil uh, contacts inside, ruining the coil. So let's have a look at this one and see if that's the problem we've got and uh, let's for fix it and sort it out. So let's pop this engine cover off to start with. That just lifts at the front and then pops off those clips at the back. Which lets us see what we've got to uh, deal with, which is this coil pack. You can hear that clicking, arcing as it's running there. Push down on the tab. Oh, plug off. T30 Torx bits, two of them. Here and here, where's those out? These are generally not very tight. They're, uh, they're just there to hold that in place. They're not really clamping it down. corrosion in there. That is really corroded. Yeah look at that. And that one as well. So new coil, new spark plugs. Now I've tried in the past to actually repair these coils, cleaning up the contacts. Uh, if they've uh, broken I've pulled the spring, stretched them, reconnected them change the spark plugs and it doesn't ever seem to work very well it's it's just a little bit of a waste of time the best thing you can do is literally just stick a new coil in there i think half the problem is because of the corrosion that the coil's been working so hard to create the spark it does actually damage the internals as well so you think it looks okay but it, it gives problems in the future so the times i've done it i've always had to change them over a few few weeks later and actually replace the coil anyway That one. This reminds me of another model where the washer jets would leak and the fluid would drop down straight into the uh, spark plug recesses and corrode just like this. So always check your washer jets and make sure they're not leaking inside the bonnet. So the new ones we've got going in some NGK. ZFR6VG. These have all got preset gaps on them, they've got the cardboard, so we're not got to worry about the gap. That's all fine. Now I know there's some purists out there who'd be like cursing me putting these plugs in with the electric ratchet. But to be honest with you, I'm so confident with this ratchet, it's got such a feather trigger, it takes them in so slowly when you're starting. It's amazing. I've got absolutely no no worries using it at all. If there was any issues, it would just hold up. If you're worried, you can start them with your fingers and just put them in with it by hand. But um, I don't know any workshops nowadays that aren't using these ratchets to, to put spark plugs in. 
this this Milwaukee ratchet it's just a dream it really is absolutely love it these plugs are going in nicely twizzer men Again, if you want to, you can stick a bit of lubricant on the threads, a bit of grease. If you're worried about them uh, seasoning the head or anything like that. But all the corrosion's on the top, so I'm not worried about that. This is the 1.4 engine, but it's almost identical to the 1.2 as well. And they suffer with exactly the same problem. Okay, then we've got a new coil pack. These retail at about £140 for most car suppliers. This is the Delphi unit. There are two different sorts of coils that fit uh, onto these vo uh, Vauxhalls. So just make sure that you uh, just check it against the old one, make sure you've got the right one, and count the number of pins in the end of that connector plug there, because there are, say, there are two different sorts. This is the same as what goes on the 1.2. It's uh, identical. So we'll slip those bolts back in again. And again, we're not going to wind them up. Nice and gentle. Just give them a little tweak. Make sure they're down. Lovely. Yeah, nip them up. I'm not going too mad on them at all. I'll reconnect the plug. Push the little tab in to lock it in. When removing this, if that's not, you can just pull that out first. Just pop that tab out and then press it down to release it. Pop the lid back on again. Two little clips at the back go over there. Hold it down, clip it back into place. There she goes, good as gold. So the problem you have here, these, this is the old coil pack. These rubbers here, which sit inside the hole of the cylinder, are supposed to seal it and stop any water going down there. Because obviously if it's a really, really wet day or you're going through some big old puddles, water can splash up from down, down beneath or come through the radiator, get under this cover and get into the channel. And if some of it just sits in there, it will just get past these seals because they're not very good and corrode around the spark plugs because of all this corrosion. And obviously the hotter it gets, it, it steams as well, it creates steam which makes it really humid and just a, an environment to uh, Probe anything and everything. But that'd be good for another uh, 20,000 mile at least. So let's pop that bonnet back down again and call it a day. Another job well done. So that's this course all sorted, all fixed, new coil fitted. I hope that's been a use to you. If it's helped you out, just drop me a little thumbs up, uh, like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.